almost none of our schools increase their tuition. As a matter of fact, majority of them actually reduce the tuition fees. No? But you cannot reduce it <laughs> low enough para yung sa expectation ng mga parents. Kasi meron ka mga teachers, na permanent teachers and staff, na you cannot have diminution of fees, eh, of, of salaries. Mm -hmm. eh. Hindi mo pwedeng babaan. Kung nakaka-receive niya 20,000 this year, hindi mo pwedeng 15,000 this year. So meron mm -hmm. kami na maintain na threshold na kailangan mo makuha para ma-maintain. So karamihan, binabaan yung, yung uh, ibang fees. Yung nakikita yung mga activity fees ka dyan, na meron ka. Kasi wala ka ng physical activity sa school. Wala ka ng mga acquaintance party. Wala ka ng mga siguro family day. So inaalis na yung mga ganong fees. Mm -hmm. So karamihan ng, ng schools na alam ko talagang re matindi ang reduction ng fees. That has been a problem for the private educational sector for the last many years. Ang migration mm -hmm. ng teachers namin from 10,000 to 30,000 every year going to the public school system. Kasi marami silang kailangan. There are about 1 million public school teachers nationwide. So ma meron lang siguro nagre-retire dyan, namamatay, etc. Every year na, na 1%, that's already 10,000. No? So mm -hmm. sa nila kinukuha yun? So fresh graduate na hindi mo nila kinukuha kasi wala pang lisensya. Mm -hmm. So yung mga, ang mga yan, yung mga fresh graduate will go to private the private sector. Tinatrain okay. namin niya, binibigyan namin ng maayos na orientation. Pag nakakuha na ng lisensya yan, nagpupunta yan sa public school kasi ang resources ng government ay mas malawak kaysa sa, sa majority ng private schools. So yan ang mm -hmm. problema namin. Maraming teachers ang lumilipat. Especially mga small small private schools. But the okay. big ones, kaya namin mas mataas sa, sa public school ang salary.